All right, this is part two of modeling a soap bottle. And in part one, we did the modeling. And I said that in part two, I would go ahead and add some materials and a decal on here. All right, so uh, first thing I wanna do is I wanna switch this back over here under maximum to textured view. All right, so we just have our bottle and we are ready to go. So let's switch over to the compositing view and I'm gonna make sure the camera's off and that gives us uh, a few different windows to work in. Hit end to close that. This is gonna be the node editor right here. This is a UV window and this is our 3D view. Let's get rid of that grid, hit N and come down to display, turn off the grid floor. Okay, I'm gonna hit three and five and just look from the side view. All right, with the bottle selected, I'm gonna work on the materials for the bottle and then we'll do that other stuff, okay? So I'm gonna set up a material. I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna click here and click new and I'm gonna click use nodes and be careful here, switch over to the circle for materials. So I have a basic material uh, on the bottle right now, okay? Now I'm gonna come over to the UV window and I click new and I'm gonna give this a name. I'm gonna call it uh, like soap label, something like that. You can choose your sizes here. I'm gonna stick with that, but under color, I'm gonna click the black and I'm gonna drag it all the way up to white and alpha, A for alpha here. I'm gonna drag it all the way to the left and click okay. And I'm just zooming out a little bit. Back over here to my bottle in right ortho view. I wanna put my label on, on here. I'm going to go into edit mode with that selected and I'm going to select everything and I'm going to hit U to unwrap, choose smart UV project and the island margin I'm just going to choose 0 0.3 and hit OK and there's my UV. I don't have to do anything with it, I just had to do that part. Okay, now I'm going to come over here and if you can't see the texture a uh, little tab there, just scroll your mouse wheel. I'm gonna click texture, make sure I'm on brush. I'm gonna click new, image or movie, and I'm gonna come down here under image and I'm gonna click open, and I'm gonna find the deco that I wanna put on it. Now, I'll provide this uh, to you if you wanna experiment with it, but what I've done is I've just found an image, clip art PNG, and I've added a little bit of text. Make sure it's relatively large and I'm gonna open that and I see it there. Okay, so you can practice with this one. Uh, it's not that great, but um, you, can, you can do whatever you want here. Okay, so now I have my, my brush texture. I'm gonna set up the uh, materials so I can do this a little bit better. Um, so I'm gonna go Shift A and choose texture, image texture. I'm gonna attach color to here. And in here, I'm gonna click there and I'm gonna choose soap label, all right? That's what I called it down here, soap label, soap label. Okay, now, uh, I wanna do a little bit more with the materials here. So I'm gonna just drag this out and I'm going with my cursor here, I'm gonna go, go control up arrow so you can see it a little bit larger. Um, I want this to eventually be transparent, so I'm gonna set that up, my bottle that is. Shift A, and I'm gonna to go to shader, mix shader, and I'm gonna drag it and drop it right there. So I'm gonna have diffuse with the image texture, and I have another space here. And now I wanna add the principled BSDF. So I'm gonna go to there and drag it up, and I'm connect this dot to the first one, and that'll move the other one down to there. Now, I am gonna be making this transparent, but I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm gonna just choose a color, you know, just some weird color, uh, so I can see my label as I put it on a little bit better, okay? I'm also gonna drag this alpha over to the FAC, and we should be ready to go. Control down arrow. Let's go back into object mode and material, and I can see that weird, funny material <laughs> on there, okay? So we are now ready to texture paint. I'm gonna drag this window over and I'm gonna drag this up a little bit. And I wanna do this in right ortho view. I'm gonna switch over to texture paint and I can now see my UVs here and I see this circle. I'm gonna hit T to open the, the tool palette here and scroll down 
and right here where it says ra radii, radii, whatever, I'm going to switch this to about 20. That's my brush size. I'll change the size of this. I'm going to switch this to one, full intensity. Make sure the blend is on mix. Come down here to texture, and I see that texture there that I created over on this side, but I'm going to change the brush mapping to stencil. And as I come in, I see that. I'm also going to click on image aspect and that it may help as well. Now, what you need to do is you can zoom in just like you do, you can pan like you normally do, and in order to change the size of the decal, you hold down the shift button and the right mouse button. And here's the trick, you want to have it big, you want to be close enough that you can see uh, the decal going on because we're gonna trace over it. So I'm just going to, I, I can move it and I'm going to make it big enough that I can see very clearly. So I'm gonna go like that, make it a bit bigger, and I can move my bottle around or the decal, and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna put it right there. Okay, so we're ready to go. Now what you do is with your left mouse button down, you click and hold, and you're sort of tracing it. Now here's the trick. You can't go back once you've moved. So you've got to sort of smudge over it and make sure you get every line if at all possible or you can redo it again but once I move or zoom or pan I'm done so try to get it all when you let go you'll see it up update right here you can zoom in on this a little bit as well all right so just keep going over it don't move anything and my text may not look that great the image looks pretty good but my text might be a bit small but I'm gonna to try to go over it as best I can and not miss any of it. You know, just like this. All right, take as long as you want. You can change your brush size if you want up here, if you want it bigger or smaller. But we are applying this as a stencil right now to the UVs. Okay, just basically like that. And hopefully I got, I got most of it. Fruit soap made from fresh fruits. Okay, once you're done with that, you can um, close the texture, go back into object mode, all right? So we're pretty, we're pretty, we're pretty good. Let's make sure we save as well. And I can now move my bottle and see my label's gonna be on there. I don't know how good that's gonna look, but uh, we'll mess around with that. Okay, now, um, I think what I'll do is I'm gonna go back to the default view and I'll switch over to material so you can see it, but I'm gonna split my screen so I can see the node editor. T and T, node editor, and okay, I'm gonna come back to here, and what I wanna do now is I wanna choose the color I wanna use, maybe a purplish kind of a color like that, and I'm also going to change the transmission to one, so it's clear, I'll change the roughness to 0. 0.04, five or six, if that'll do anything. Let's save. Okay, let's close that up. And we've got our decal, but we need to do more uh, work. Actually, I probably will be in the node editor now that I think about it. So we'll come back over here. And if I click on this and I go over to materials, um, you can see it there. I could call this bottle. And let's go ahead and make some of the other materials. Let's click on this part. I'm going to click new here. It will show up in the node editor. I'm going to get rid of this diffuse and come over and add shader principled. Drop it down. Connect this. And I want this to be metal. So I'm going to change this to 0 0.8 and the roughness to say 0 0.2. And I'll leave the color like that for now. I can come over here and call this metal. This piece right here, I can click new there, or I can click new there. I'm going to get rid of the diffuse there, switch it to principled. Okay, I want this black, so I'm going to bring it, drag it right near the bottom. A little bit metallic, maybe 0 0.4, and the roughness maybe 0 0.3. All right, I can call this black. I also want this top to be black, so I'll select it, and out of here I'll just choose that black. And then the last part we have to put a material for is this. I'll click new there, get rid of that, and uh, we'll do principled. 
Uh, this will be very straightforward. This one will leave it a little bit less than white. Metallic maybe 0 0.2 and roughness maybe 0 0.4. You can experiment with these. Um, that's it for the moment for the note editor. Let's get rid of that. Um, I want to put a plane down underneath this. So I'm going to go Shift A, Mesh Plane. Look from one from an orthographic view. I'm going to drag it down to the bottom. And I'm going to go S20. Make a little table that this thing sits on. Now um, we have to create a, the default material. So just click the Material tab and then look down from 7 and go into Edit Mode. And what we're going to do is go U for Unwrap and just project from View Bounce. Um, I'm going to put a wood texture on here. And so now what I do is I just come to the Node Editor. And I can leave it like this. And I'm just going to go Shift A, Texture, Image Texture, drop it in. Connect the color to there and open up a wood texture that I've got. You know, just whatever you can find from the internet. Uh, I don't think I'm providing this. You can find lots. I'm just going to choose this one. I tend to use a lot. And you can already see it there. Um, one other thing I'll do is I'll just take this image texture and Shift D. I'll copy it and bring it down. Connect the color to the displacement, but choose non-color data. And that'll, well, you won't be able to see very much. Pretty dark. Uh, so that'll give me just some imperfections in the wood. A little bit easier to see. I'm going to now shut this. And let's have a look at my camera. Let's hit zero. Okay, let's go out of zero. Let's hit N and come up to here under view and choose lock camera to view and to close that. So when I look through my camera, I can start setting up my shot. I'm gonna hit home to maximize that. And I'll start seeing this. Okay, now we've got to do a little bit more work. Uh, on my second layer, that's where I have my light. I'm going to select that light actually and convert it to a sun because it came in as a point light. I want it as a sun. I'm going to change the size to 0 0.3. Use nodes. Switch the color to a bit of a cream color and change this to maybe 4. I'm not using area lights. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to shift D and copy that and bring it over to somewhere and just arbitrarily rotate it. And I'll make it the complementary color on the other side, and I'll make it maybe two. Um, we're getting there. I'm going to shift and click both layers so I see everything and look through my camera. And um, I want to put an environment in the back, environmental lighting, because this is what I'll have so far. Okay, so we got a, a, a few more things to do. Uh, I'm going to click on the World tab here, and I'm, I could do this in the Node Editor, but I'm going to do it right here. Use Nodes, and under Color, click the dot and choose Environment Texture, and then Open, and then find an HDR image. So you need a few images here. You need the, the label itself or the stencil, um, and let's search HDR image or HDR texture, and I'm just going to choose one that I've downloaded from the internet that's free, the Veranda one, and you'll see that it provides light and a background image. Uh, we're close to being done. We may or may not like these materials, but I'm going to select um, my bottle and go back to the modifiers. And I had said in the previous video uh, that we need to add solidify because this thing is very thin. So we need to thicken it a tiny bit. So I'm going to click uh, solidify and I think I'm going to bring it above the, uh, there and I'm going to make this 0 0.02 and I'm going to click Apply and Shift Z to preview this. All right, we can still change all these colors, um, but that's what we have so far. Um, this we could make look like more like a table, or we could just try to position things so that it it looks like it is a tape, bit of a table. You know, I'll I'll do that for now. Um, so thicken that. All right, what I'll do is I'm going to set up just very quick for rendering. I'm going to make this 70 for the size. I'm not choosing a render preset. I'm just going to do that. And under sampling, I'll change this to say 250 because it is sort of a glass kind of material or plastic material. I think that's all I'll do there. There are other things you could do. And I'll come over here and I'll choose uh, denoising because I have version 2.79. And I'm not sure when that was introduced, but not in a previous version I had. I'm going to go ahead and do a, a test render, and we'll come back and we'll look at it. Here's my first render. Looks uh, 
looks pretty nice with the sort of purplish bottle here. Uh, we're getting some uh, reflections of the leaves in behind of that HDR image that wraps around. Okay, so there's that. And I just went ahead and I did a couple of other renders and I changed the color of the bottle. All right, so my next one. All right. There it is again, we get some leaves and stuff. So depending on where you position the camera and stuff. And I did one more. Uh, I changed the color of the bottle and I changed the the roughness uh, a little, brought it up a little bit just to see how that looked. I like that color. I might not like the roughness, but you can see. It'd be nice to have more stuff, bigger labels and, and other stuff so you can make one big, big stencil and just make sure when you're tracing the thing that you get all the parts of it. This is one way of putting an image on. I just wanted to show it to you because it was relatively uh, easy. So like I said, uh, I'm providing the, the uh, reference image for modeling the bottle and I'll provide this. I didn't create this, but I believe it's free clip art and then I just added my text. So in case you just want to practice with this or make your own. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, good luck and thanks for watching.